Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know already, my name is Tara and I am a cruelty free YouTuber for makeup and beauty and all that fun jazz. So if you like my vibe, don't forget to subscribe. Yes, I'm a little weird. So today I wanted to try out the Hourglass, their new Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I ended up getting a deluxe sample through Sephora for one of my purchases. So I just wanted to try it out, test it out on my dry textured skin. So if you would like to see me try out the Hourglass Veil Powder, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off by priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is something that I love so much. I really like this primer. It's super hydrating and my foundation always looks so good on top of it. So since I'm testing out a finishing powder, setting powder, I wanna use products that I know and love as a base. So for my foundation, I'm gonna go in with one of my holy girl foundations, which is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and I am in the shade Fair. To blend that out, I'm just gonna use this Eye Beauty Dome Doohickey brush to blend this beautiful foundation out. For concealer, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter. Oh, look at this, that looks gross. I was gonna use that, but now I'm not. Right, for concealer, I guess I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm in the shade Fair. Just gonna blend this out. This is the Mini Flat Angle Brush by, I have no idea, but it's just like a little kabuki looking brush. That I really like for blending out concealer. And now we're gonna get into the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I know this retails for like an astronomical amount, like a lot of Hourglass products, but I really like Hourglass products. They're vegan for the most part, and I know they're trying to switch their whole line over to vegan, completely vegan, or they have already. I will put right here how much the full size of this powder goes for. Cause I'm just gonna put some well, it's messy. I'm gonna put some in the little container and then I'm gonna go in with this. It's kind of a dense, what would you call it? A dense tapered powder brush and it's the Morphe, well, it's from the Gunmetal Collection for Morphe. It doesn't have a number on it, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna tap in a little bit and I'm just gonna Press that underneath my eyes. I wanna feel what it feels like too. Oh, that feels so soft, you guys. So, so freaking soft. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face, and bring it down to my neck. some more and if you guys don't want to splurge on this powder and you want to try it out before and you can't get like a deluxe sample from Sephora you can go into Sephora and ask for a sample you can get up to three samples a day from Sephora so don't think that you can't try it out before buying it okay guys like seriously you can just go on in there and tell them hey hey you i want to try this powder can i get a sample i'm gonna use this crown brush it's like an angled brush to apply that For blush, I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow Mini, and 
it looks like this. So I'm going to use this color right here. And I'm going to use this Luxie 660 Precision. It says Precision Foundation Brush, but I use it for blush. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a very subtle pinky glow. I don't know what I'm going to do for an eye look yet, so I'm not going to do highlight yet. I am going to do my eyes, brows, everything like that, and then I will be back in a few hours to check in. And you know what? Before I leave, I'm going to spritz my face like I normally would after I would put my base on. So I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Spray, which I love. I will be back to see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am back. I know I'm not in front of my ring light. I'm actually in bed. I'm starting to get a headache, so I didn't want to sit in front of the ring light anymore. I actually really like the powder. I think that it didn't emphasize anything on my, like any dry patches on my face. It didn't emphasize any wrinkles really. Oh my gosh, my hair is a mess. I've had this base makeup on for six hours now it's like 3 a.m so yeah don't judge but yeah I really do like it I also took a picture to see if it did any flashback I didn't see any really bad flashback so that's a definite plus so yeah I really actually do like it will I repurchase it after I run out of the deluxe sample I don't know. I'll have to test it a little bit longer to see if that's the case. So I will definitely talk about it again in an upcoming video. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression situation. And I really hope to see you guys next time. Bye.